Hi, welcome to a Cartier V5 video tutorial. I want to do a spiral cable now in Cartier V5. So let's start with a sketch and a 2D spline because for a 3D spline I would need points. So let's start with a sketch. Maybe on that plane hide as usual the yellow projected elements and draw a spline which could look something like this. Okay? I don't need a easy constraint sketch, so let's move on. Now I want to do a sweep. So go for sweep and it should be a sweep or line sweep with a reference surface. The guide curve would be this curve. The reference surface would be this one for example. And for the angle I want to have a law. And this should be a law a linear law and the end value should be let's say 200 and no let's say 360 and confirm and the length should be for example 20 millimeters and confirm so you will get a surface and it bends around, it makes one turn. Yeah. To make more turns, I want to use a parameter, so I will go for fx. We'll make a new parameter of type integer and call this one number of turns. Yeah. And it should be, right now I will go for 10. Okay. Now I want to change the law right here. And I will go for edit formula. This should be 360 degree multiplied with the M factor. Or number of turns parameter confirm close and confirm right here now you got this sweep now I want to use the edge of this sweep for another sweep so to make it I will go for extract and extract this edge. Confirm. Now I could hide my sweep and use, I could hide as well the sketch which should be right here. Yes. And I could use this extracted edge for another sweep. So let's go to sweep, make it a circular sweep with center and radius. The center curve should be this one and the radius should be, let's try 5 millimeter and confirm. Yes, or maybe let's do this one with 3 millimeter. Now you got a spiral cable and right now it's a surface so switch back to my partisan workbench and I will close the surface. So select this sweep, confirm, it take a while, then hide 
the sweep and you got a short spill kill and there it is there is the part body so I want to do another sweep now with a 3d curve because in the next I did it with a 3d curve that's just a 2d curve as line of this helix and therefore I will change to the freestyle workbench maybe let's hide this part body for a moment and this extract as well okay now let's go for a 3d curve where to find 3d curve that's right here and I want to use this quick compass orientation tool so now I could draw a curve similar to NX let's change Maybe to this one. And confirm. Now I got a 3D curve right here. I will change back to my generative shape design workbench and let's do another sweep again a line type with reference surface make this guide curve reference surface maybe this plane and go again for a law make it linear edit formula make it again 360 degree multiply it with the m factor uh, not the m factor <laughs> number of turns factor and call it okay now again extract or maybe again change this to 30 millimeters Yes, now extract. Yeah, this edge. Okay, hide this sweep, hide this 3D curve, and let's make another sweep, a circular one. As before circular center curve should be this one radius maybe three millimeters again that's okay confirm yeah maybe change our number of turns factor where is it, it should be over here to let's say 20 It will take a while because it will update the other sweep and other curves as well. Because it has to update this sweep, extract and sweep, and this one. Now change to the part design environment and close the surface with this one 
the surface, yes. That's this sweep. It will take again a while. And hide the sweep. Hide the extract. And show the part body. Now I got two, and maybe I could put this in a different body as well, or yeah. But anyway, now I got a 3D spur cable and a 2D spur cable. So I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this one. I will try to do as I already told you before something something similar in some of the other programs if possible bye bye